Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's product overview, I'm taking a closer look at the Cressy Alpha Ultra Dry Snorkel. Um, now obviously I'd love to have one in front of me, but I can't with everything that's going on. As soon as I can get my hands on one, I will do a completely separate video uh, where I show you around the snorkel and uh, sort of give you a, a better feel for the snorkel. But for the time being, this is about as advanced as a snorkel as you can get realistically. This has a dry valve at the top and another dry valve down at the bottom to really keep any water out of your airway. At the top of the snorkel, you have a pretty comprehensive wave deflector. So over the top of the snorkel, you'll see this big sort of bulbous section. And what that's doing is even if a wave splashes over your head when you're snorkeling in the water, that is gonna naturally deflect the water away from that opening. You can still breathe through it. It allows airflow really smooth, but any water is gonna be naturally deflected away from it. Some water might get in, but chances are fairly slim. But what this also has is a small floating section on the inside of that uh, sort of bulbous part. And that means if you, uh, if you like to duck dive, you wanna go under the water or a particularly big wave splashes over the top of your head, that little float is gonna float up and there's a hinge section on the inside that actually blocks the top of the snorkel to stop any water from getting into that um, into the tube. So when you're ducking under the water, it actually keeps air inside of that snorkel. Not so that you can breathe or anything, there's nowhere near enough uh, volume there to actually take a breath from it, but so that when you get back up to the surface, you don't have to clear the water out, it's already clear. Moving down the snorkel, you have a pretty good bend at the top, which means that the top of the snorkel is going to wrap around behind your head and just keep the snorkel a bit more hydrodynamic. So when you're moving through the water, it's less likely to uh, wiggle on the side of your head. Um, the snorkel keep, you can move that around and, um, and I think that has a release mechanism so you can leave a section of that on your mast strap um, just so that when you're storing it away, you can actually leave part of it um, on your mask and it's much easier to uh, just sort of click the snorkel on. You don't have to do the whole hook thing and do that every single time. Uh, you just kind of push it and it'll clip together. Moving down the snorkel, you have a fully flexible corrugated section of silicone. And that means that the mouthpiece, when it's not in your mouth, it's naturally gonna drop away from your jaw and kind of hang straight down. So this is great for both snorkelers and scuba divers in that for scuba divers, when you're not using your snorkel, you're gonna be using your regulator. And if the mouthpiece of your snorkel is still like in front of your mouth, it's just gonna get in the way of your regulator and that's just gonna be annoying. So when you're not using the snorkel, it drops away and gives you plenty of space. For snorkelers though, it means that no matter the shape of your jaw or the size of your head, that mouthpiece can be literally wherever you need it to be. So you don't have to bite down quite as hard on the mouthpiece to physically hold it in the right position. It can rotate and twist and be exactly where you want it to be. So it's gonna be much more comfortable. You're not gonna get jaw fatigue, because you have to bite down hard on it, you just don't need that on this snorkel. So that's a very uh, clever um, situation you've got there. Further down, you notice below the mouthpiece, another bulbous section at the bottom of the snorkel, and this is a bit of a water trap. So that way, if any amount of water does make its way inside of the snorkel, it's naturally going to go to the lowest point. And the lowest point on this is that water trap. So even if there is a small amount of water inside that snorkel, it's actually holding it away from the airway. So you can still breathe past it when there's water in the snorkel, but every time you exhale through the snorkel, there's a one-way purge valve at the bottom of that water trap. So by simply breathing out, you're gonna push the water out of the bottom of the snorkel. If you don't have that purge valve, you have to push it all the way out the entire length of the snorkel, which requires quite some effort. But with that lower purge valve, you exhale and it just pushes it out of the bottom to clear the snorkel just every time you breathe. So all in all, yeah, this is about as advanced of a snorkel as you can get. This is about as dry as you can get, which is why it's called the Ultra Dry. It really does keep that airway nice and clear. Any water that um, does get in is gonna naturally be pushed out of the bottom anyway. So if you really don't like any water in and around your mouth, then this is definitely worth checking out. This is the Cressy Alpha Ultra Dry Snorkel. There's gonna be more information about it on our website, simplyscuba.com, or there's gonna be a link down in the description below 
below so that you can check it out. Thank you for watching and safe diving.